In today's Madden 21 breakdown, I'm going to be showing you a little um, nice passing concept out of the New England Patriots offensive playbook from the gun split close pats formation in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my video today. Now if you've never been to my channel before, um, what we do here is we do Madden 21 tips and tricks videos. We do four tips and tricks every single day here on our YouTube channel. And our channel, again, is designed to help you get better. So if you're looking to get better at this game or to kind of get um, just different principles, different concepts that you could test out yourself, um, I would enc highly encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so in our text message membership video this week, we cover the split close pats um, formation. So if you don't know what the text message membership is, it's basically something that I started about a month ago uh, doing for my subscribers. And essentially what it boils down to is we text you a exclusive money scheme or tip every single week. And typically those videos are 45 minutes to an hour long. Um, in the past, what we've done is we've done a gun bunch guide from the Carolina playbook. We've done a big nickel over G defensive guide um, over an hour and a half of content on the big nickel over G. We've done a Minnesota Vikings uh, playbook guide. We've done a cut and a gun cluster guide. This week we're doing the split close pats. So if you want to get, um, if you want to get that video, all you have to do is just shoot me a text message. My number is eight one two. 216-3644 and I'll just shoot you the video. Um, now another reason why we're doing this is because we are putting the final touches on our New England Patriots uh, offensive ebook which is coming out this week um, and so if you want to be notified or if you want to know whenever we drop that full guide um, just text me and I will uh, shoot it your way. Anyways all right, so split close pats and the play that we're going to be talking about today we've already talked about um, the halfback wheel some. We've already talked about Z-spot some. We've already talked about Y-out. I don't think we talked about that yesterday. Today what we're going to talk about is P-A-Y shot. And the primary reason we're going to do that is because of the power of the double crossing routes, um, especially against man-to-man -man coverage. So what we're going to do on defense is we are just going to uh, set our defense up to basically be a man-aligned, man-to-man uh, -man defense. Now, one of the things that you'll experience a lot is they'll drop their their curl flat zones back to about 30 to 25 yards to be able to take those crossers away. We'll get into that here in just a little bit. Um, I'm also going to sub in a couple of safeties here at this, this uh, linebacker position so that they can play a little bit better man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, so we're going to come out in our cover two man. And all we're going to do on this, as a general rule, I would recommend running the split close plat pats um, to the left hash. Now, you don't have to only run it to the left hash, but that, I think that certainly does help with the spacing of the plays. Um, okay, so now all we're going to do on this is we're going to take Chris Godwin and we're going to motion him on, we're going to put him on a slant route. Now, you have a couple of options. You can motion him right and snap him, you can motion him left and snap him, or you can motion him right and then motion him left and snap him. The other thing I like to do with the running backs is, depending on where the slant goes, I need to have a flat to the slant side. So if I have a backfield master, I can put him on a little shoot flat. If I don't, I can just put him on a swing route. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, LaShawn McCoy on a little shoot flat. I'm going to put Leonard Fournette on a option route, and I'm going to motion Chris Godwin to the left, and that's going to be my setup. And what you'll see is this little play right here is going to torch man. The table route to the running back um, against nickel sets, which is primarily what you get, like if you get nickel 245 or something like that, um, the, the crossing route to the, or I'm sorry, the shoot flat route to the running back will win. However, against like a dollar, um, it's not going to get as much separation just because uh, the corner is in a better alignment to be able to handle it. But what you'll see here is this crossing route to Chris Godwin is very, very effective against that coverage. Now, one of the other things that you can do with Chris Godwin is you could actually take him all the way out um, if you wanted to as well so that he doesn't interfere. If they're if they're press coveraging, um, that is where you know this play can be a little bit wonky um, just because of the t compression of the formation. So if they're doing something like that, you can get him out there just like this, and you see how you're going to have a high-low read between the crossing route to Mike Evans or the um, little shoot uh, or the little slant route to uh, Chris Godwin. Let me show you another version of running this. And basically all it comes down to is we're going to take Fournette now and put him on the shoot flat. We're going to put McCoy on an option route. We're going to put Godwin on a, on a slant. And then we're just going to motion him back inside, snap right in this little pocket right here. 
and now you'll see you have the same kind of concept going that uh, going back to left as well okay so that's kind of the underneath versions of this play and like I said you know one of the things that I think is really unique about this offense is the power of these two backs um, with the two backs you could just do a variety of different things with them um, I think they do really really good for beating man to man especially if they have backfield master on them that's going to help a ton and backfield master on Reggie Bush only costs one AP if you play Mutt. Obviously, if you don't play Mutt, then you know you might want to use consider using the Saints. Uh, I think the Saints could actually run this offense fairly effectively. Um, you could also use teams like the Buccaneers um, because of the hot route master ability. But you see that slant's just gonna court, just gonna work over man coverage every single time. Now the deep crossing routes. Uh, we'll show you these real quick. So the deep crossing routes here. You'll see on this left side, this crossing route's not as good. You see Gronk is not. His crossing route is not as good as um, Chris Godwin's, or I'm sorry, Mike Evans' crossing route. However, um, when you run, when you get the man switch that will possibly, that should occur uh, within this little play, you'll see he's going to get matched up and he's going to get that inside leverage and you can pass that to the right and get a secure catch most of the time especially if they're shading coverage outside and over top. Now, what about press man, right? I've been getting a lot of press man. Well, press man is the same principles. Um, it just is a little bit different timing window. So you run your motion snaps, and you'll see here, now Gronk's going to get taken away. You see that underneath coverage of the, of the two men under can take a slower tight end away. Now, if that's Mutt, and that's Darren Waller or Vernon Davis or even Michael Finley, someone that has capable route running, that's going to be a completion. But because it's not, um, Jair Alexander is obviously able to win that matchup. However, uh, what you're going to see here is you're going to have Mike Evans running wide open on this left side. So we'll show you this real quick. He's going to get open at multiple points. But as you can see, he's going to torch man-to-man -man coverage to the inside. Okay. So what they're going to do about this? Well, what they're going to do is they're going to put their safeties in purple zones and basically try to user the slant route. Okay, so they may do something like this, 25 yards or 30 yards even sometimes. But they're going to try to basically user the slant route. Well, this is where one of our plays from our ebook comes in. That's where um, X-Drag Trail and Halfback Wheel come in. Because if they start doing stuff like that, they're going to leave themselves very vulnerable to the middle of the field. And so it's it's about a timing game, right? If you call the right play at the right time, obviously. But let me show you PAY shot against this look. Uh, obviously, you're going to have your running back checkdowns. You're going to have your you're going to have your your little quick. See that right there? Even though that's Perry Nickerson, who has 95 speed, um, Lashawn McCoy is still able to kind of get open on the option routes this year. Another thing that you can do, uh, and let me just show you the crossing routes really quick. So the crossing routes, and again, remember, they get open at multiple points. It's not just one point that these routes um, get open. They get open at multiple points, multiple moments within the defense. So we'll show you really quickly here. Um, Mike Evans, see how he gets open in the middle? You can throw that right there. It's an easy read, right? So if he's open uh, in the middle of the field, throw it. Now, these are 25-yard uh, zone-dropped curl flats. So let me show you real quick what that's going to mean for you know the, the later of the read. Real quick with Gronk, same kind of thing. You can pass him to the left, but you see that speed, that speed differential, 95 compared to whatever Gronk has, like 79 or 80. That's why you want to have, like if, if this was me, I would probably put the O.J. Howard in there. But faster speed, better medium route running, and that route will get open. Okay, it just in regs, especially if they're in dollar, which most of the time they're not going to be. Most of the time, you're you're not going to face this because you're gonna. If you did face this, you would audible down and run the ball, right? Um, which you can do that within the personnel grouping that this this playbook allows you to have. But let me just show you really quickly um, what this looks like right here. So you see here, the crossing gets open, um, threw it a little bit late. But you see how that purple zone comes down, and he's able to play the crossing route, especially on that left side. Now on the right side, it's a little bit um, there's a little bit more opportunity in my opinion, and we'll show you what I'm talking about right here. So let me do the uh, setup again. This is your basic route combination. Motion him back in, snap right there. 
and you see how this window's wide open. Now, if I were to, if he, once he gets to the sideline, the window's not going to be open anymore. And a lot of times what they'll do is they'll kind of use her in the middle of the field and then they'll kind of, you know, jump down to something else. That's why I think it's a little bit more um, wise to run your slant kind of right in this little pocket right here because at the point he's going to be coming over. Now, right here, you can low ball this. As you can see, that can be a low ball, and that's a that's a 25-yard shaded purple. Okay? So that 25-yard shaded purple is going to do a good job of stopping the left side crosser, but it's not going to do a great job of stopping the right side crosser. Cro crosser okay? Because you're going to be able to, you're going to just be able to have multiple different options. You'll see it again right here. He's going over, and I think I made a mistake on that. That's why you don't want to flat that side, right? That's why you want to. That's why you want to run the option route right there. I accidentally um, put a bad route combo on the field, and the safety was gonna. The safety is able to kind of overplay the underneath in that situation. So let me show you this. This is the option, the option route. Now with an option route, you see, um, and he did come down on that too. Um, that's why, you know, you could even, and this has been becoming a tactic from split close as well, is to basically take your take your back, especially the back on the right here, because of that crossing so good, and put him on a curl. Just simply curl these guys and do something like this. Now, obviously, this isn't great for the, you know, zone, but you'll see, and you see, he is able to defend it, Okay. So those 25-yard purple zones is really what they're going to have to do. Well, if they do that, then they then you do this, right? You go to halfback wheel, right? And they're going to set up the same meta coverage. And they're going to take those safeties out of the middle of the field, and they're going to put them in curl flats. Now what you can do is just run halfback wheel stock, and this post route to the middle of the field should be a one-play touchdown against that coverage. If that's a, anybody faster than Mike Evans, it's not even close. Okay, so you have those options, those if this, then that kind of um, uh, mechanics of this offense is really, really effective. So uh, against zone coverage, like if they run, you know, this is not, this is going to kill zone, right, because you have the double crossers. So you just basically take your crossing route, and then if they run something like a cover three press or something like that, where they have the purple zones to be able to take away the crossing routes, that's where your little underneath flats and slants are going to come in. You'll see this little flat to the left is going to get you probably about 10 to 15 yards if they don't have a hard flat there. That would then, and then again, just kind of continue the little equation here. But what that's going to mean is then they're going to have to basically hard flat both sides. They got purples on both sides and they got deep blue zones on both sides. So now you've really started to open the middle of the field up. And what you'll see here is it's basically a choice read. Who does he take? And you take the other guy between the slant and the uh, little option route. Okay, so that is a uh, little really good concept, good passing play uh, from the gun split close. This play is in the New England Patriots ebook, and this is just one of the many, many setups we have. Uh, as it sits right now, this this New England ebook is probably, I, I think it's over 200 pages of content. We literally have broken down every single formation in this guide and given you every single thing that you can do with this offense. It is very comprehensive, but it's also very effective, and we have a quick start uh, video as well that can show you how to do it with just a couple of key plays uh, from the New England book. So anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for your support. We have three more videos coming out today, one at 4 o'clock, one at 6 o'clock, and one at 8 o'clock. Uh, I'm probably going to be doing a defensive video, and I'm also thinking about doing a, another film study on our competitive Madden because tonight is club, uh, is is the, um, I think, the NFC East. So we got some really, really good matchups tonight. Um, but anyways, guys, other than that, I uh, just wanted to thank you so much for your support. If you haven't joined the text message membership, shoot me a text. Let me know. My number is 812-216-3644. And also, if you have not joined our Discord yet, there is a link in the description of this video for you to be able to do that as well. So, anyways, guys, thank you so much for your support, and we will see you uh, in our next video in a few short hours.